Alright everyone, welcome back to Heavy Rain. We're back with Ethan the Mars. Look at his smiling face, he shouldn't really be that happy though. Terrible things have happened to him, guys. Terrible, terrible things. So it's Wednesday, I guess. 7.30 in the morning. 1.7 inches of rain has fallen. At least apparently that's what the inches is referring to. Apparently referring to rain. So I've been told. <sighs> what a fucking sorry state of affairs, guys. I mean, look, even the fucking Sean's thing is written on the... On the, the board still. It's still there. A reminder. A holy reminder. Well, go on then. Let's pick up this letter. Let's see what's going on. I wonder what is inside. What could this be about personal? Hmm. Some kind of. When the parents came home from church, huh. all their children were gone. Fuck. They searched and called for them. They cried and begged. But it was all to no avail. Okay. The children had never been seen again. Well, that sounds uh, very much like our situation. Interesting. I don't know where this is coming from. Like, who sent this to me? Ooh, apparently I'm I'm not good enough at putting it. I need to be more careful, more gentle with my use of the second stick there. Hello. Oh, 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 what's this? It looks like some shadow. Some kind of shadow. Let's see. All right, get up. I have to get out of here and find out what this ticket is about. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Right, let me see what's my options. Origami? The origami figure in my hand after my blackout. It's the same one the killer leaves in the hands of his victims. I've never done origami in my life. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, what the hell's going on here? Do I leave out this door? I guess I'm leaving out the back door. Yeah, our good old back place where we played basketball. Huh. Well, I guess it's kind of indicating me f to go over there. Probably. So we're just going to take a walk out in the rain. I guess, God, Ethan, man, you should have, like, prepared with an umbrella or something. You're going to get all wet. You don't want to get all wet. Wetness is not good for you. Then you have to come back and change your clothes. It's just not a good situation to be in, Ethan, I'm feeling right now. All right, let's just walk through the bushes because I don't give a fuck anymore. I've lost everything. Look, I've lost it all. My child's, my child's. Yes, because that's how you say multiple little people. Childs. My childs have gone. Oh, that's why also. Fucking all the guys outside of the... Well, there's fucking paparazzi outside my front door. You know what? I'm going to try and avoid them. I don't want to go over there. Unless I have to. Uh, is there invisible walling me? Mm, let's see. It's invisible walling me. It's forcing me to go back in that seat. I'm going to try and walk over here. And game's like, no! Mm, I'm David Cage. Nuh-uh. Not our sister. You ain't going over there this past that Mars. crossing. Anyone, really, I try to get away from these guys. Mr. Seriously. Can you confirm that your son you has disappeared? Your son is still alive? I don't How know, exactly guys. Is your son Mr. Mars. Look, I can't answer questions I don't have answers to. Mars, please, ICN. ICN, almost like IGN. Not quite. Not quite. <sighs> is he chewing gum? Looks like he's chewing gum. C David Cage, why didn't you let me choose to give Ethan gum? Uh, if I wanted him to chew gum, I would have picked up the gum from a drawer or something and made him chew it. But no, you're just gonna you're just gonna tell me that he's been chewing it. The fuck? Oh, that's freaky. Oh, that's not. That's that's just weird. Where the hell am I? Don't tell me I'm going to black out in this place. That would really not be good right now. What suddenly happened? I, I have no context. Did he just get in his car and suddenly appear here? Or what's... the fuck is going on? I guess uh, I'm just suddenly here. I have to make it through the crowd. Alright. Can't, can't take crowds. Just can't handle it. No, I can't. And apparently it's not letting me walk very quickly either. This is slow. Oh my god. This feels really weird. It, rem it reminds uh, me a lot. I can't make it. Too many people. Too many people. Okay. Shake the thing. I'll shake it down. Up. Alright. Down. Okay, so apparently each of my steps is dependent on 
how I throw the PS3 controller around. R1. L1. What the fuck am I doing? Am I choking myself? What the hell is going on? This is the weirdest shit. You know, I knew this game was weird, but... Is this seriously gonna get even worse? Like, how much bad shit can one guy go through? guys don't know this, but my PS3 controller is like a heartbeat right now. Jason! Oh no, not the Jasoning again. Shit, really? I'm going to knock over people? Can I just knock people over by walking into them? Oh my lord, I'm just murdering people right now. Alright, let's get the fucking balloon. This is the weirdest shit. This is like a horrible dream. Oh, no. oh he's, a, shit, he's a ghost. Oh my god. Oh my god. Come back here, son. I have no fucking clue what's going on. It's weird. It's just weird. Did he just... Oh my... He's just like warping around. Holy crap, guys. Yeah, my PS3 controller is like my heartbeat. Jason! Jason. <laughs> and here's the real ironic thing. It's a really lovely sunny day outside, but this is just... This is contrasting the mood. I'm... I'm gonna lie. Hello, have you seen Jason, Mr. Jason. Guy, who is invisible? Not invisible, but... Come on, I've been following the balloon. What? Okay. What the... <sighs> Where am I now? Oh no. Oh god. What? So I'm just back where I was? Am I just having, like, lucid dreams? I honestly don't know how to explain this. I guess that's the point of the game. It's just like throwing you around the around the loop. Okay, I guess I'll go into the luggage locker. It seems like it's the game's telling me to do that. Let's walk through the scanner. Line 18, box number three. All right. Let's uh. Let's go find it then. Line 18, box number 3. So, these are the line numbers. We need to go all the way to 18, so that's 17, 16. Uh, where's 18? 5? Okay. Where's 18? 16, 17, 6, 5, 4, 3, 12, 13. Huh. Do I have to go further down, or do I have to go down the 17 corridor? Uh, 17... 15... Eight, there's 18, okay. Oh, no, not this way, Ethan, this way. This way! There we go. Uh, box number... 3? This is it? Wrong locker. Uh, alright, uh, I guess it's this lock. Yeah, there we go, number 3. That's the one. Ah. I wasn't sure, because it was like up or down and I assumed that up would just be the first locker and down would be the third locker but no it's nine and three apparently and three was up top <sighs> what is it with mysterious boxes don't tell me there's some body part in that it would just be fucking weird and I don't want that I don't want body parts it reminds me too much of like strange th films not that I've ever seen any strange films with Body parts. I've, it actually reminds me of Smallville. There's an episode of Smallville where someone sends like a hand in a box or something. I think it's in like season one or two. Yeah, pretty sure. Something weird like that. Anyway, why are we in a hotel room? There's lots of uh, narrative gaps right now in Ethan's story. Uh, I guess they just want to keep you guessing as to what's going on. So, so I guess we'll just, uh, 
Come take a seat. Has he not looked inside the box yet? You know what? We need to look. I, you know, I, I really want to open the box, guys. I really do. But we need to just, you know, we need to take things slowly. Let's have a look in. Oh, there's nothing in the fridge. Damn it. All right. Okay. Fine. I was gonna get a coffee, but fine. We'll just do what. Have. Let's take a walk outside in the rain for a bit, guys. I just wanna. I wanna contemplate life a bit, right now. Let's have a lean on the balcony. Come on. Where am I? The question I'm asking myself right now is where the hell am I? Because surely I would have just gone back to my house. Unless this is like my house, a weird room we haven't been to before. But I don't think so because it says 207 on it. it. Certainly looks like some kind of hotel room. <sighs> Alright, right. before we open the box, let's go to the loo. That has been the main thing we've been doing this whole time. Wash our... Okay, no, we should probably have gone to the loo before we wash our hands. Maybe we just want to wash our face, I guess, is the thing wake up from this harsh reality hope that it's all a dream maybe it's all just a dream maybe that's maybe that's the case maybe that is the case let's take a piss for the however many at the time in this game undo it there we go and maybe I'll get the opportunity to flush this time I don't know if, if he will Rather, I don't know, these camera angles are rather ominous because they make you feel like someone is watching your character. There we go. See? See, I remembered. Ah, yeah, okay. What's in this cupboard? Got some pills, got some, some interesting stuff. Let's take a look in the mirror, I guess. Look at my, my chiseled face. My, uh... I don't remember, Ethan didn't have a beard like at the beginning of the game. He decided like it's a good idea to grow this beard out, I think, for some reason. Well, let's take a look in this cupboard. Try and do everything before we... Nothing in here. Just a fan, an iron. Nothing in particular that's going to help us out. Could sit back down in our seat. Or we could open the blinds and see what's out there. Oh, nothing much. Nothing interesting outside. I'm just trying to delay the inevitable here, guys. I'm really trying to, because I, I have a feeling there's something horrible that's going to happen with this box. Because you don't just get a box, and then you open it, and there's suddenly, like, rainbows and puppies inside. And look at how, like, that's shaking. Like, the... Literally, the marking is shaking. He is not ready to open this. Oi. What's inside? Okay, so... A gun and a phone. And some origami and like an SD card I saw. An SD card. Huh. And they're all numbered. Alright, let's have a look at the origami first. I don't want to start with the gun because I've got a feeling something bad's going to happen with that if we start with that. What is this? Are you prepared to show courage to save your son? Joe's garage and parking lot. Oh my god. <sighs> what do I need to do? Am I communicating with the murderer now? Is that how this is going to go? Oh, what's this? Looks like an SD card. Oh, okay, so that's going to go in the phone. There's going to be something, some kind of video message. Are we going to see the killer? Is he going to give us like a video message? Oh no. Yep. Help! Dad! Oh, oh shit. Where are you? I'm so cold. Dad! Oh, God. Dad! Oh, he's put him down in fucking drain! That's how he kills them! Are you really doing this, guy? Why would you do this? You're such a fucking bastard! Holy shit! Figures a trial. Each trial provides letters. The letters reveal an address. So I have to figure out the puzzle? Great. I have to figure out a fucking puzzle. Thanks, guy! <sighs> I don't know what I'm doing. Grabbing the gun. I'm grabbing the gun. We'll figure this out later, guys. Like, we gotta, we gotta rush and find Sean right now. <sighs> Alright, I'll hide it under the bed. That's the best place to put it. 
that's what I think I'll do. And now we'll leave. And now we'll just run somewhere. And for its namesake, the heavy rain is pouring down constantly. That pathetic fallacy, my friends. That pathetic fallacy indeed. Oh yes. Well, I wonder what's going to happen with him. I guess we're going back. We're swapping back characters. We're back to our Norman Jayden. Norman Jayden. The killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. He doesn't act on impulse, but plans his crimes in a very meticulous fashion. He doesn't have anything personal against the victims. That's why he covers their faces with mud, to make them anonymous. Uh, okay. Why does he kill them if he doesn't have anything against them? Because he's to like him, the Joker. More of an image, a symbol. That's probably why it gives him an origami figure and an orchid as gifts to apologize for what he's done to them. What? Very interesting. And where does all that get us? Um. I'll be calm. The best rational. way of tracking a predator is to be familiar with his behavior. That may be true in novels, but there's a child's life at stake here. Continue, Jaden. Uh. One Rainfall. detail attracted my attention. The interval between the time when a victim disappears and the time when the body is found ranges from three to five days. Yeah. The rainfall is always at six inches, give or take 10%. Oh, oh shit. That All the victims were drowned in rainwater. The killer kills only in the fall when there is plenty of rain. Uh. It could be that he puts them in some sort of well or tank that is open to the skies and that fills up with rainwater. The more it rains, the less time the victim has to live. Well, fuck. So we basically I studied the need to find Sean before six Generally, inches. Generally, a killer commits his first falling. murder near to where he lives, so he has a safe place to flee to if any complications arise. The more confident he becomes, the further he roams from his base. By analyzing the locations where the victims disappeared, I was able to isolate a zone where the killer might live. And, and what size is this uh, zone? For the moment, about ten square mile. Wow, that's great! It must be ten thousand people live in that sort of area. You gonna question them one by one? Yeah, clearly. Uh, aggressive. It may not give us the address of the killer, but at least it's something to go on. Yeah. Blake, if you've got a better plan, I'm willing to listen. Yeah, come on, Blake. Show me. All ears. Show me your moves. So what's next? There are two suspects whose psychological profile might fit and can be connected to the comfort zone. I'd like to question them. Alrighty. God damn it. We're wasting our time with this bullshit. The killer's out there somewhere, and we gotta get off our asses and find him. I don't know. Maybe we should reason. The killer is no ordinary murderer. Yeah. He is intelligent, organized, and methodical. You exactly. won't find him by patrolling the streets. Mm -hmm. Tell me, Agent Jaden, did you get your vast experience on the job or did you just fucking read about it in some school book uh i actually uh i'm gonna calm you down i came here to find a killer i don't want and confrontation exactly actually what i'm gonna do i decided With or without your fucking help asshole! oh enough. shut up blake try to simmer down here six inches of rainfall before the victim died how much time do we have left the weather forecasts are right. Less than 72 hours. Oh no. We've got three days. we got three days to find our man. Find him if we can. Alright, let's enter the door. Knockity knock. Who's there? Suspect numero uno. Come on, open up. Open up! I'm Norman Jaden. I don't no, piss Andrew. around. We waste our time coming here. And then the door opens. Maybe we should have a little look inside anyway. There's nobody home. Uh, he's gonna use his brute for oh, Wow! Just kick down there the door. Why don't you, Blake? I'm not sure that's entirely legal. No, no, probably isn't. Call the cops. I don't think he really cares what's entirely legal, though, does he, Norman? He really doesn't. Oh jeez. Oh my lord. This is a... There's a lot of crosses. 
Looks like Nathaniel Williams is a pretty religious guy. This is He's a God-fearing idiot, waiting for the end of the world. We questioned him a few months back because he was causing a disturbance in the park. Uh, ranting and raving. Said he this is pretty him. nuts. Had this, this idea is pretty that I was the ridiculous. I'd come Holy to crap. To persecute him. Real twisted. Right, let's take a look in here. Same shit going on in here. Religious stuff, Bibles. But just over the top, like ridiculously over the top. What's in his cupboard? What's he keep? Pills? Huh. So maybe he's the crazies. Maybe he's on the crazies. He needs them crazy pills, but he ain't taking those crazy pills. He leaves the crazy pills in the cupboard. Hoping that maybe the crazy pills are going to help him one day, but... But he doesn't want to take him. He doesn't want to take him. That brings us through here. It's really dark. I can't really see that much right now. I can zoom in on Norman Jiden's face if I bring him closer, but... Uh, is there anything that's just going to come back through here? I guess. Okay, let's go. Ooh! Uh, what's over there? What's in here? Oh, we're just going to have a look back outside, make sure no one's coming. Alright, no one is. Oh! Did I look at this? Oh, there's something down here. Let's have a, have a wee look. Uh, Jesus, chilling, chilling beneath a green sky. You, you start your standard scene, obviously. Jesus, chilling beneath a green sky. I mean, because that that is definitely a normal thing Jesus would do. Is that blood? Please tell me that's not blood, because that really looks a lot that. Looks like he's uh he's he's been washing his dishes with blood. So yeah, that's uh that's that's great. That's that's good. That's that's real that's real uh, uh Oh shit Whew. Blake, you almost scared the crap out of me man, what the fuck are you doing? Wandering into my face. Shit, no, oh god. Oh sh oh here he is, he's got a cross on his neck. It must be him. There we go. Well, at least we got Blake for backup. Good timing, Nathaniel. Just the man we're looking for. Oh, no. Angels and ministers of grace defend us. I'm Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Yeah, just, just. As God is my witness, I haven't done anything. Well, I hope not. I'm innocent. Relax. Nobody's accusing you of anything. We just want to talk. Yeah, that never works, does it? All right, let's say. Uh, what's your what you occupation, working, Daniel? You have a job? Yeah. My sole occupation is praying to the All Merciful Lord for the salvation R of humanity. Well, that makes sense, seeing as you have all the crosses. Maybe you just you, you just buy a few more each day, huh? Yeah. What about them? What about the, the crosses? You afraid of something? The hour is nigh, and the wrath of God shall strike men down. I'm preparing for the end of the world. Well, you know, everyone needs a contingency plan, right? Right? Uh Nathaniel, do you remember where you were last Tuesday at 4:30 p.m.? Here. I was here. I was praying all day. Okay. Um Was there anybody with you? It's a long time to pray. No. No, I was alone. Okay. What about the voices, Nathaniel? Do you still hear the voices? Oh dear. He has voices in we his head, apparently. We know who talks apparently. to you, don't we, Nathaniel? Well, we both know who talks to you. Don't speak that name. Um. What does he say to you, Nathaniel? Blake, what are you doing? Yeah, Blake, don't. I can't talk about it. You mustn't talk about don't, it. Don't pressure this guy. I think he's going to flip. He orders you to go and find new prey, doesn't he? No. That's enough. More look, look, Blake. More. Look, come on. Look, 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 Blake. I mean... You... No. I don't want you know crazy crazy eight, eight here, here to go even crazier than he's gonna go. Cause you, you know what happens when crazy eight goes crazy. Brings his uncle and he starts ringing the bell. You don't want that. You don't want crazy eight and his uncle. That's bad news, Blake. That's enough. Please. So you obeyed them. Gonna stand in your way, Blake. Please, Blake. Please look. Do something. 
I've got to do something. Oh god, what have I got to do? Stop. Shit! Stop. I don't. I didn't know what to do. No, Blake, please. Fuck! I didn't know what I was doing. I was walking around. I'm trying to stop the situation. You are the oh god! Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! He is the son of Satan. He was sent to Earth to destroy us. Uh huh. For Christ's sake, shoot! Shit! Shit! Uh, so psychology. You're not gonna kill the Antichrist with a revolver. No. Nope. He's much too powerful. Yeah, he is. He is. My ass. Get that gun out of my face. He's much too powerful. Oh God, come on. Uh, look, calm down. Keep calm. Everything is gonna be fine, Nathaniel. Look, this is not good. You shall regret no. confronting the emissary of the Lord. Please. You shall know divine. No, power. don't fucking shoot him. I. Uh, uh, listen. Concentrate on my voice, Nathan. Yeah, listen, listen to me. Only to my voice. Christ, all powerful. Defend us in our battle with the forces of evil. Oh, come Protect on. Protect us from the cunning and wiles of the demon. May God Almighty manifest the power of His empire. And may divine power cast Satan and all the other spirits that prowl the world in search of souls into the darkest depths. Uh. I. I really. Don't, don't, fuck it! Die! I shot Probably him. not a good idea. Yep. Looks like you did. But I don't know what else to do, alright? Can't say I'll miss him. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Why did I do that? I'm really regretting that now. I shouldn't have done that.